what's happening in the back? <laughs> Still locked in this room, but um, I've got a PO going in, so hopefully it should be sorted tomorrow. Um, right, I've got a video going up at nine o'clock tonight. Right, it's going to show exactly how I believe that these charities should be run. Right, 100% transparency. Right, now, some, people, some of the people on my social media um, are going to need some of your help. Right, um, because I'm locked in this room. Right, so you're going to have to do something for me. You're going to have to, but I'll let you know later. Right, um, you just have to be going to see a few local old people in your area. But um, yeah, so I'm going to need your help later because I can't move from here. Um, I'll finance it and um, we'll what's name. Um, but you do your part by um, going to see these old people for me, please. And that's what I need. Um, but I'll speak to you about that tonight at nine o'clock. Now, the other reason why I've come on here is these charities, right? I've been sat in prison for years, right? And I've sat there thinking, who the fuck are these charities to fucking to rob people of their money? Like to, the people in poverty, who the fuck are they to raise millions of pounds and then that doesn't go directly to the cause? Right? These charities need to be 100% transparent. They're right? forced by the government to be 100% transparent. Our governments right, refuse to make charities um, um, be 100% transparent. Why? I don't know. All I know is that there's a big amount of money being made by these fucking fat cats who are living in their fucking mansions, sailing along in their fucking yachts, while these people are living in poverty, hungry, starving. And you, you sit there and you think, how is that right? How is that right? Now, by law, the government's law, right, only 10% only needs to be, so 10% needs to be donated to the cause. A charity can keep 90% for what they call admin fees, right? Now, as far as I'm concerned, you don't need to keep 90% for admin fees, not whatsoever. These charity bosses are paying themselves £150,000 wages, right? As far as I'm concerned, that's a business. If you're paying yourself £150,000 wages out of charity money, then that's a fucking business. That's not a charity, right? And you do enough to keep the public happy, but at the same time, keep your charity running so you can keep getting yourself 150000 wages so you're not putting yourself out of a job. Obviously, that's what's going to happen. And that's this needs to change, right? As far as I'm concerned, if you're a charity boss, don't give a fuck how qualified you are, right? You're there to do charity work, charitable work, that's it. Like you don't need to pay yourself 150,000 wages, pay yourself 50 grand a year. You don't need 150,000 wages out of the charity money, not whatsoever. Don't give a fuck how qualified you are. If you want to pay, get 150,000 pound wages, then go and get a job somewhere else. Don't be fucking working for the charity. Simple as that. And that's a fact. I'm just stating facts here. People, some people might not agree and go, oh, well, you need someone qualified yet. Yeah, you might need someone qualified. But I'll tell you something, there's plenty of people who are just as qualified as any of these big fat C fucking CEOs of these charities, right? Who would happily do it for £50,000, not 150, right? Of course, you've got to live, and that's why I'm saying to you, you've got to give them, like, but it's under £50,000 excessive. Now, <clears throat> let's move on to the GoFundMe's, right? I've seen a lot of people setting up GoFundMe's, and what do you do with it? Do you fucking raise a few thousand and cash it out, and you keep it when you're saying it's going to donate it to people and put um, People in need. As far as I'm concerned, you do that, you're just as bad as a fucking nonce. Fact. Right? And I'll, at the end of the, I'm not going to... Now, here's a the thing. There's a guy called Billy Moore. Right? He's doing a game, um, GoFundMe. If you don't know him, go on his Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Him and Joe. 100% fucking boss guys. The two of them couldn't fault it to the both of them. They do brilliant work. Every penny what they raise goes to Alder Hay Hospital. You do a fantastic job as well, saving kids. Right? Billy Moore's currently raising money for all day hospital um now that guy I'm, I'm not referring to him or his brother joe at all because they're both of the pair lovely guys so um i'm just putting that out there um but obviously there is other gofundme accounts out there that um say they're raising money for um let's say community centers or something and then really they just cash it out so yeah this is what i'm saying to them so this video tonight is going to be like to show you what transparency means right how transparency should work Right, so transparency should be like a charity should be able to prove where every penny their money's gone to. So if they've raised a hundred thousand pound, why there's no reason why they can't um, do videos back up where every penny's gone to, backed up with receipts. Absolutely no reason why they can't do that. The reason why they don't do that is because out of hundred thousand, they'll keep ninety thousand pound. The charity divvy it out between themselves. 
and in 10,000 it go to the cause. Now let's say hypothetically it's going to Africa, right? So this country raises 100,000 pound, right? And then the charity that keep 90,000, the, the, the other 10,000 go to Africa. By the time that gets creamed off the top, 9% gets taken, 1% goes down to the slums. Now the person who's dealing with the slums then takes that 1%, just buys a little bit of food, enough to keep the people happy. Now the people in poverty, they're gonna be hungry. So if they're gonna be happy with the food, not knowing the hundreds of thousands of pounds have been raised for them, you think to yourself, why is it that hundreds of thousands of pounds have actually been millions, hundreds of millions, sorry, billions, if not billions have been raised, but these people are still in poverty? Why is nothing changing? And the reason why is because the big charity scam, fact. I don't care what anyone says, the fact. And people have been tiptoeing around it for years, right? People need to start understanding that these charities are as low as it gets. I don't give a fuck whether you're going rob off the government. I really don't care. That did not, in my opinion, I don't think there's personally there's anything wrong with that, right? It's, it's a government what I don't respect, right? That's just my personal opinion. You can go and take the government's money, rob banks. I don't give a shit, right? I don't con condone that, but obviously I can't do that. My videos got condition. License conditions, <laughs> so I don't condone that. But what I'm, the point I'm trying to get to is, you can do that to the government. I don't care. But if you do it to the poverty, to the people in poverty, I do care because for me, these people need it. These people, it's it's a travesty that the people have been getting away with it for too long. That these people in poverty have been hungry, starving. The mothers are having to give the kids dirty sewage water, knowing they're probably going to kill a kid. But you've got no other choice, and you think it's fucking disgusting. It's disgusting and I fucking hate it. The fact that these big charity bosses are fucking living in big fucking mansions, driving big yachts off the backs of the people in poverty. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm letting you know, fucking these charity fucking bosses. We're coming to fucking sink the lorries, you fucking scumbags.